Can your kidneys get better if they're injured? Is kidney disease curable? Those are two of the most common questions I get asked as a kidney doctor in my clinic and in the hospital. Today I'm going to address those questions and hopefully give you some answers. When people are first told that their kidneys are not working well, the first thing they often wonder and ask is can their kidneys get better? Of course that's a natural question and a complicated one. Today I'm going to go through all the reasons that kidneys can get better and then some reasons and sometimes that they can't. I'm Dr. Blake Schusterman. I'm a board certified kidney doctor and I'm also the cooking doc and everything we talk about here is just information. This is not medical advice. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, click that bell so you never miss a new recipe or a new health tip. So to answer this question, you got to stick with me through to the end of the video because it's a complicated topic. There's no way I can say yes, kidneys can get better or no, they can't get better. It really depends on the individual circumstances and I'm going to tell you over the course of the next few minutes exactly what you need to know to find out if your kidneys can get better. If you're looking for a quick 30 second answer, you probably come to the wrong place. So I'm going to simplify things a lot first. There are three basic ways that the kidneys can stop working well. The first is if they stop getting enough blood. One of the main functions of the kidneys is that they filter out the blood. So in order to filter the blood, they need blood. So they need the heart to pump enough blood for the kidneys to do their job. And there has to be enough pressure of that blood going into the kidneys so they can do their job. So if that blood is not being pumped to the kidneys with enough pressure, then you can have kidney injury and you can have kidney damage and those kidneys can stop working well. So this can happen with heart failure, this can happen with liver disease, but the most common reason that people's kidneys stop working when they're not getting enough blood is when you get dehydrated or volume depleted. So if you are sick with nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea, or if you're out in the hot sun and not getting enough hydration, you can get dehydrated or the volume in your blood can go down so much that the heart just isn't pumping enough blood volume to your kidneys to allow them to do their job. That's what we call pre-renal acute kidney injury. So that's kidneys that are not working because they're not getting enough blood flow. Now this is one of those times where if it's caught early enough, the kidney function is reversible. So if people go in the hospital and they're dehydrated or they go into the doctor's office and they're dehydrated, the easiest way to fix it is by giving hydration. So you come in and your kidneys are only working at 10% and you're worried that that's going to be permanent. You can get fluid, you can get extra volume in your blood through an IV, or if your blood count is low because you're bleeding, you can actually get blood. All of those things will give the kidneys enough volume so that they can start filtering again. And your kidney filtration percentage can go way up very quickly if the problem is just that the kidneys are not getting enough blood because you're dehydrated. So that's one way in which kidney function is reversible. That's called acute kidney injury. That is reversible and that can get better if it's caught early. Other things that make the kidneys have trouble filtering because they're not getting enough blood are if your blood pressure goes too low because you're on a lot of blood pressure medicines or something else happens with infections to make your blood pressure go low. And again, the kidneys don't get enough blood flow. Some of those things can be a little harder to fix than pure dehydration but a lot of them are reversible. So if you're in the setting where your kidneys have just quickly gotten worse because you're clinically dehydrated or volume depletion, that's one instance in which it's very likely that your kidneys may get better. The next type of kidney injury and thing that causes kidney disease is when there's damage to the filtering parts of the kidney called the nephron. Everybody's born with 2 million nephrons and those nephrons are the center of the filtering universe for the kidneys. And if you get damage to those nephrons, your kidneys won't filter well. Now, whether or not that damage is reversible depends on a lot of things. The most important thing to know when trying to determine if kidney function can get better or can be cured is how long the kidney damage in those nephrons has been going on. If that damage has been going on more than three months, then it is unlikely that the kidneys will get better. Not impossible, but it's unlikely. That gives you a diagnosis of something called chronic kidney disease. And you think about it, these little filtering structures, these nephrons may have been injured by diabetes or by high blood pressure over the course of 30 years, 20 years. And when that happens, when the filtering structures are injured over and over again for that much time, they really get scarred down and that scarring cannot be reversed. 
It cannot be fixed. It cannot be cured no matter what anybody tries to sell you or tell you. Long-standing chronic kidney disease is unlikely to be able to be cured or reversed. Now I say that, but I don't want you to get the wrong impression. There are a lot of things that you can do from taking care of your body to taking your medicines to exercising to eating right. All those things can help slow the progression of the kidney disease and can make things maybe a tiny bit better if you really change your eating pattern. But that type of kidney disease, chronic kidney disease from diabetes and hypertension that's been going on for a long time is unlikely to be reversed and cannot be cured. Now there are other things that happen inside the kidneys that can be reversed or can be fixed, especially if they haven't been going on for very long. Certain medicines, if they cause kidney damage over the course of a short period of time, you take the medicines off, oftentimes the kidney function gets better. You could call that a cure, you could call that a reversal of the kidney disease, but that type of kidney injury from medications, if it's gone on a short period of time, sometimes can get better. There are also a lot of other what we call intrinsic kidney injury types that can be reversed. Sometimes autoimmune disease, if it causes damage to the kidneys, can be reversed. Something called rhabdomyolysis can be reversed. That's a type of kidney injury that occurs when people either exercise too hard and their muscles break down and release myoglobin that clogs up the nephrons. It can also happen when people have an injury where they're stuck and they can't move for a prolonged period of time and those muscles break down and clog up the kidneys. That type of kidney injury can often be reversed, but it has to be caught quickly and it cannot be that severe. Other things like inflammation in the kidneys or allergic reaction in the kidneys often can be reversed and cured with medication or by removing the offending agent. So intrinsic kidney injury can be reversed sometimes depending on what the cause is. But if it's chronic kidney disease, if your kidney disease has been going on for a prolonged period of time because of diabetes or high blood pressure, those types of kidney disease are incurable. They are mostly irreversible. Now don't take that the wrong way. There are lots of things you can do. Buy my book, exercise, eat right, take your medicines. Those things can help your kidneys if you're in that situation. But don't be discouraged when you're told that the kidney disease cannot be cured. The last type of thing that causes kidney injury is if the kidneys cannot get rid of the urine. If the kidneys can't get rid of the urine, then they can't get rid of the toxins, and all those toxins back up into the kidneys and into the blood. The most common reason that people have a blockage where their kidneys can't get rid of the urine is if there is something that is at the end of the bladder, like a big prostate or a stricture, something that causes that urine to build up in the bladder and then back up into the kidneys. If you have kidney stones on both sides, that can do it. If you have a mass or something that's blocking the kidneys, that can do it. Whether or not this is reversible often depends on how quickly it's caught. When this type of kidney injury is caught within a few days or a week, often we can just relieve the obstruction, make that urine flow again, and the kidneys can pick right up where they left off. Filtering well, that kidney disease can be reversed and can often be cured. Now, if that blockage has been going on for a long time, or if that blockage just can't be fixed, then you may develop chronic kidney disease from that blockage. And in that case, the kidney disease often cannot be cured or fixed. So as you can see, there's not a straightforward answer. Most of the people that I see in my office have what's called chronic kidney disease that has been going on for a long time from diabetes and high blood pressure. And that type of kidney disease cannot be cured or fixed. When I see people in the hospital, however, who are sick, whose kidneys have stopped working very quickly, that can sometimes be reversed and people can recover most of their kidney function. Now before we end, I'm going to tell you all these things that people are going to try to sell you that are going to cure your kidneys, but they absolutely won't. Kidney cleanses, kidney teas, detox teas, vitamins, minerals, olive oil, apple cider vinegar, cranberry pills. People will try to sell you things all the time, will not cure your kidneys. They will not help your chronic kidney disease. Listen to your doctor. Eat right. Check out the recipes on my website, cookingdoc.com. There are a lot of things that you can do to make your kidneys better, but chronic kidney disease is unlikely to be curable. If you have questions or comments, I'd love to know what they are. Let me know if this answers some of the biggest things that you're worrying about. I don't want you to be discouraged when I tell you that chronic kidney disease can't be cured or reversed because there are a lot of things that you can do to make your kidneys better in the long run. 
Thanks so much for watching today. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check out my website, cookingdoc.com. Check out my book. It's on sale now for $9.99, the e-version on my website. The Cooking Docs, Kidney Healthy Cooking, a Modern 10-Step Guide to Preventing and Managing Kidney Disease. I will see you next time.